Shalom, shalom, shalom. This is your brother Yael Ezra Ben Levy coming at you again with another quick video. I would like for you to join me in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12. I'm we'll only read the last two verses. I will be um, doing this reading out of the King James Version because, as I said before, it is so trusted by many of our people. So I want to use a translation that they feel comfortable with to share with them what needs to be understood. Hallelujah. But first of all, let me give all honor and praise to the Holy One of Israel, the God of our forefathers, Abraham, Yitzhak, and Yaakov, that's Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. To him do we give all the glory and praise. Hallelujah. Ecclesiastes, um, Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13 and 14. Hallelujah. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. Let me read that again. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. For God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. Hallelujah. Now, I'm not going to be before you long. I want to point out to you what I believe our underlying problem is as a people. Many people say our, our, our people, number one problem is they serve other gods. People say, no, the, the, the overall problem for our people is um, they're, they're stiff neck, um, they're rebellious, they're this, they're that. I'm going to share with you what I believe the number one problem is. And I believe it is revealed in verse 13, what is the number one problem for our people, for the people of the Most High, is we do not fear him. And since we do not fear him, we cannot be shocked when we do not see our people worshiping only him and not trying to couple someone else with him. That comes from not fearing him, because if we feared him, we will also keep his commandments. If we feared him, we will observe the Sabbath. If we feared him, we will keep the feast days. If we feared him, we will walk upright before his face. If we feared him, we will actually treat one another with love honor, and mutual respect. But that all comes from fearing him. But since we do not properly fear him, that's why you see everything else so um, so messed up, so jacked up. There's really no other way to say it. We are so jacked up. We are so messed up because of our lack of fear. Because if we truly feared Yehoah, the Holy One of Israel, and we truly feared Yahuwah, the Elohim of Abraham. If we truly feared him, we will also keep his commandments. If we truly feared him, we would not dare couple another name with his and, God forbid, replace his name with another. We will not have concepts about him that is contrary to what he laid out about himself to what is um, plainly revealed about him. It is a terrible thing when the people of God cannot line up with the words of God. And that only comes because we do not fear him. Because if we feared him, if we loved him, if we stood in awe of him, we will keep his commandments. And I, I want to read 13 to you again. 
And mainly I want to focus on the last part, but I'm going to read the, um, the whole verse, but I want to focus on the last line of the verse. It said, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God, follow his Messiah and keep his commandments. For this is what God wants us to do concerning Christ. It don't say that. So why do many of us act like it does? Let, let me read it again correctly. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God, fear Yahuwah, and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. It is amazing that it is plainly declared, this is the whole duty of man, to fear God and keep his commandments. This would have been the ideal time, the perfect time to lay out the, the whole duty of man is to fear God and his Christ and trust in his um, ultimate sacrifice, dying on the cross to fear God and believe he became a man. None of that is laid out. It simply is laid out before us. Our requirement in life is to fear God and keep his commandments. You cannot have one without the other. Many people say they fear God. They don't keep his commandments. Many people are keeping aspects of God's Torah, but they don't fear him. They keep in Torah, but they, um, they keep attaching, coupling someone with him. And it should not be so. So that's all I wanted to share at this time. I, I, I beg of you, I plead with you, repent, my brothers and sisters. If this is your lot in life, that you do not fully comprehend what it is to fear God. You have not fully comprehend what it is to keep his commandments. Repent, return back to Yehovah, which also includes returning back to his commandments. Hallelujah. Till next time. Peace.